So I'm gonna start with our bed, actually making the foam. So earlier today, John and I finished this middle section here with the table. Um, and now I'm gonna start cutting out these foam mattresses slash cushions um, and putting that on there. I have a bunch of other foam. I thought that would be enough. There's like three little foam mattresses. I thought that'd be enough all stacked together, but it definitely wasn't. It wasn't firm enough, so I went to Joanne's Fabric and got this stuff. This is three inches thick, and then I'll put that stuff on top of this. Um, foam is freaking expensive. I definitely use coupons. Take advantage of that, because holy crap, this stuff isn't cheap. Um, so yeah, I will begin. brainstorming process so I have these long one pieces so that's gonna be one cushion and that will stay there all the time and then I have these cushions here which I'm thinking what will happen is I'll split these middle ones in half of one cushion and then one cushion and then this cushion will become the back over here like so that thing underneath and then same for this this cushion will become the back over here like so and then the table will raise and then so these will be cut in half this way and be put on top of one each side and that's what I'm thinking will be our benches we're gonna leave it like this until I talk to Lynette on Thursday but that was a good start I mean it's really comfortable actually and it's just thick enough that your butt doesn't touch the ground and I haven't even put any of that on there so this is gonna be great here is our little foam workshop we've got Lynette sewing <laughs> and I'm we're making cushions um, we have found out that using a bread knife to cut foam works so much easier uh, we have two cushions done. I'll show you what that looks like, and we're working on the third one. So stay tuned. cushions I said here they are two of them done so we're working on the middle ones and then the backs and we'll show you all that as it goes but they look really nice the ends aren't finished quite yet but yay So what we just did there was we pulled a thread out and it creates this like line. So you have a perfectly straight line when you're cutting. So that's what you just watched us do. Magic. It's like this one's really. So then this will come into here and become the bed. It's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> flip, flip, flip. And then now we have two more cushions to make, which will sit Yay. there and there. These lovely ladies have been just helping me all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did it! Uh, the bench 
stitches are done. Look who's in there completely done, but I need to whip stitch them, which means just sew the ends on. Um, but I'll just do that at night. I don't know when I'll do it. But I was too damn excited. I had to get them in here. So I'm going to show you how we put this together. So the, the backs become the middle. Like so. And then this one slides in here. This one slides in like so. And then there's our bed. So then it is just long enough for both John and I. Uh, I think it's a total of six feet long and it's almost a queen length wide. And it's really, really soft. I'll show you the kind of foam we used again one more time. So we have this three inch foam, which is pretty firm. And then on top we have a softer, this is just like a bed, it's like, I don't know what, how many inches this is. Two inch probably, um, like bed foam. And then, see that you can see the pieces and it'll work just fine. I ended up not having to cut these in half because now looking back at that, that would have been a whole lot of work. So instead we made it work where these middle cushions become the ones back here, Oops. which was a much better idea in the first place. But yeah, like I said, this is so exciting. I still gotta sew up the ends, um, but that won't take much time. And then, yeah, that was about it for this video. I just wanted to show how we did that. And it ended up being, it wasn't cheap, but it was much cheaper doing it yourself than having them made. Um, Lynette helped out tremendously. She knew what she was doing. Uh, we, I was just kind of there, but it ended up costing, I think, it was about $110 in foam. That was just the green foam. I had had all the bed foam. And then the fabric was about all this fabric. It's outdoor fabric is what it is. Um, it ended up being about $100 too. So it's $200 in foam or in our cushions, um, which in normally that would be probably closer to $800. Do it on a budget, learn how to sew, or know somebody with a sewing machine, and it'll save your life. But yeah, now we have a bed.